Hello everyone, welcome to Scale from Symbol Dolog UI tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create the circles in After Effects. So let's get started. Select composition, select new composition, set width and height to 512 by 512, press OK. Right click and select new solid, set the color to white, press OK. Now select the ellipse tool you can press and hold and uh, which will bring up the uh, this new menu here you can select the ellipse tool double click on it and select the white solid press s and set the scale to 95 now select the white solid again press young now select the mask press ctrl d to duplicate the mask now set the mask to mode to subtract now double tap on the M and set the mask expansion to negative 20. Now clear the white solid again, select the rectangle tool and draw a new mask and set mask 3 to subtract. Now you can press Ctrl Shift H to disable the selection and press R for rotation and you can see it's pretty cool now press Control alt s set the output module to PNG sequence and set the output to like circle and save the image and this is how you create the rotating circle in After Effects Hello everyone, welcome to Skill from Symbol Door Lock UI tutorial in this tutorial I will show you how to and made our circle that we previously created in After Effects. We will import the circle in Flash and then we will create the animation and necessary functions. So let's get started. First create a new action script to scene. I'll send the scene to 512. I'll set the frames per second to 30. And I'll set the uh, stage color to uh, gray color. Uh, on the second dot, I'll set the FPS to 50. Then I'll go to popular settings. I don't want the HTML wrapper. And I'll set the output file to scaleform underscore 2. Remember, it's in my UDK game flash folder. I'll save it here and press OK. And then I'll save the scene to scaleform underscore 2. It's in my UDK game flash folder, I'll replace it. Okay, so now we're all set. First, we'll bring this layer to main, then we'll add a new layer, we'll name it actions. Then we will import our circle image, it's in my UDK game flash scale form 2 folder, scale form 2, scale form 2 folder, import it, press F8 and make sure that registration is on top left and I'll set the name to main underscore mc then okay, I'm sorry I accidentally put it in my actions there I'll cut it and paste it in there uh, okay, so now I'll open it up press fade again and this time I'll name it Big circle underscore MC and make sure the registration point is at the center. Press OK and we'll name this layer big circle. Now we'll do the animations. We'll right click here, we'll add a new keyframe. Right click on that same keyframe and we'll select create classic tween and then we'll go to frame 15, right click insert keyframe. Now that creates our 
classic motion tree here and we'll go to the last frame we'll select our layer and select free transform tool and we will rotate this like this and that creates our animation alright then I will set it to frame 29 insert new keyframe and I'll rotate it again so our fancy animation is here and we'll add a new layer we'll name it small circle we will now press control C so the small circle in and press control shift V and then uh, make sure lock width and height values is selected and then uh, decrease the size we will keep the size like this for 20 there's a new keyframe here we will create class between right click on frame 15 insert keyframe and we will go to the first frame here and change the direction like this so now our animation is looking pretty good and we'll go to the last frame right click insert frame sorry about that insert keyframe and we'll rotate it again so the animation is looking pretty cool now we will add uh, we will add, um, a new layer and name it text1 here we will add a locked texture text uh, so we'll go to text and we will type in locked the uh, size is looking good so, and set it to center and we will convert it to graphic make sure registration is center and name it locked text so we will create a new keyframe create mass between we'll do frame 5 insert keyframe and now we will set the lock layer we will decrease the width and height to a low value so that it's okay now pretty good animation there and we will add a new layer text 2 again we will simply uh, add a new text open again set it to center modify convert symbol uh, open text make sure the registration is center press ok we will then create a new keyframe. We will then add a, another keyframe at a eight. Uh, before that, I will right click and say create class to between. Then I will right click on frame eight, insert keyframe, and then I'll go to layer one. Make sure my open text is selected, and I'll set the width to a very low value. So now you can see the animation is well, there's a slight offsetting there, but that's okay. Let's go to this the frame here, copy frame, I click paste frame. So our animation is here. Right click insert keyframe, insert keyframe. So it's looking pretty good here. 
we will save the project. Now we will right click on frame 30 to create a new keyframe. Once again on frame 31 we will add one more keyframe, convert it to uh, okay, it's already class two now, I forgot that. Um, we'll go to frame 41, we'll insert a new keyframe and we will increase the size to 512 by 512 and and uh, sorry we will size 14 here uh, then we will select frame 44 insert keyframe and here we will set the size to 512 both width and height to 512 by 512 then on frame 50 Insert keyframe, we will set the width and height to a lower value. So we will open and then the animation goes. Okay, fine. We'll do the same for big circle. Insert keyframe, then we'll insert a new keyframe here. Insert another one, frame 41. Then at frame 44. We will set the size to lower that for 20. And then, last keyframe, we will kill it. So now the animation is like this. Let's see. Next part, next time to do the text animation, we will right click on frame 30, insert keyframe then we will come here at frame uh, 44, insert keyframe then frame 15, insert the third keyframe and kill it sorry about that so you can see our animation part is complete. Now it's time to uh, name the frames, so we'll select this frame here and name it on. We'll select the frame on 30 and type in continue. And then again we'll go to the very first frame and we'll open up the uh, action script panel and type in stuck. and select frame number 29 type in stop and last frame type in stop 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 all right now let's uh, save the project and publish it all right now that we have finished creating our animations it is time to create our main functions which plays the animation and which plays the animation in reverse and so on so we'll go to scene 1 we'll select the actions layer open up the actions panel and type in global dot sorry global dot extensions is equal to true Alright, underscore global. Stop and we will create three functions which play the movie clip. And second function play movie clip continue. And function reverse. Alright, now inside our play movie clip we will play the animation. So make sure your main movie clip has the instance name of main underscore MC. We will go into actions there. 
type in main underscore mc dot on enter frame is equal to function and we will type this dot next frame if this dot current frame is equal to 29 then this dot stop delete main underscore mc dot on enter frame all right so basically what this does is it will play the animation once this function is executed and once the frame reaches frame 29 that is frame 29 here it will stop the animation and delete the on enter frame now it's time to play the movie clip continue which will be executed once our player presses the E key that is the use key in UDK so we will see the top main and score MC dot go to and play frame continue we will simply copy this same code here and change the next frame to previous frame and we'll set the this underscore this dot underscore current frame to zero we will stop the animation and delete the on the frame so that's it it's time to save the project and our uh, flyer setup is all over. You can close it and test with GFX Media Player. All right, everything's fine. No compiler errors so far. And let's bring this up in UDK and let's create our double lock UI there.